here today, and for the first time in four years, they were the minority. Joining us from Capitol Hill, South Carolina Congressman James Clyburn holds the newly created position Assistant Democratic Leader in the 112th Congress. Well, Congressman, uh, what do you do as you approach facing these new rules, John Boehner, the new speaker, and being in the minority? How do you bring it together and try to combat them? Well, uh, thank you so much for having me, Andrea. Well, the, to begin with, uh, it's not good, uh, a good feeling to be in the minority, but the fact of the matter is uh, we've been here, I spent about 12 years in the minority, only uh, six in the majority, so uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll make the uh, uh, accommodations, we'll get used to it, and uh, we'll move forward trying to do the people's business. We do know from the campaign that people want us uh, to make decisions that will improve the quality of their lives. They want to uh, get the country back on track. They want us passing laws uh, that will decrease this deficit and get add jobs uh, to uh, the workforce. And that's why I'm so uh, puzzled uh, by this first bill uh, to uh, get rid uh, of the health care reform bill. Now, if we were to do that, uh, CBO has just released the numbers. It would explode the deficit by $230 billion uh, in the first 10 years, $1.2 trillion in the second 10 years. That's what I call a uh, deficit explosion. Aside from that, uh, kind of the number of jobs uh, that will uh, be uh, taken out of our society uh, it could be very up. Uh, somewhere near uh, the millions. So uh, we are very seriously uh, trying to get the country business done. So I don't know why it is that we are wasting time today uh, doing symbolic stuff. Because the Senate is not going to agree to this. Uh, but we'll spend it all day on this uh, and uh, tomorrow, uh, and then we'll vote on it next week. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, it makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, do you think they're just doing it for political reasons because they have to satisfy the Tea Party members who is a, you know, who are now a large part of their caucus? Oh, I'm sure that's the reason we're doing it. But let's, why don't we just say that's why we're doing it? Uh, don't uh, tell the American people that you're serious uh, if you're just doing something in, in order to satisfy a political wing of your party. Say that's what it is. But that's what I call real transparency. Uh, just tell the people what you're doing, why you're doing it, and maybe uh, we can understand it better. Congressman, do you take John Boehner at his word that he's going to try to give Democrats um, uh, more say on the floor and more chance, uh, I guess not on this health care bill for sure, but more chance in the future bills to amend things and to have a say in the rule than Democrats gave them when they were in charge, when you were in charge? I, I take him at his word. Um, I know uh, John Boehner very, very well. Um, we have uh, political differences, but on a personal basis, we've been good friends. Uh, we've socialized together. Uh, we've uh, played a few rounds of golf together. So I know him very well, and I like him a whole lot. Uh, I would hope uh, that uh, in future bills, uh, we get treated a little better than we're being treated uh, with this health care uh, reform bill that's not coming up, because I understand uh, that they're not going to allow any amendments. It's going to be a closed rule, uh, and that to me uh, is uh, uh, not in keeping with the promise he made. Okay, Congressman Clyburn, maybe it's time for another trip to the golf course with John Boehner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I see him on the, the floor. floor.